Hi, I'm Patty Smith with another message for Christians who want to be faithful to Christ and to love their neighbor as they love themselves by going to the local abortuary to reach out to the abortion bound mothers, fathers, and the little babies. There are a few things that I'd like to bring up in this episode that I think are really important. The first point is how essential it is that you make a determination to be very assertive when you are there at the killing place. You're there to witness, to be a light in that very dark place and to interact using the law and testimony of the Lord with the abortion-bound mothers and fathers and their babies. So you have to be very willing to walk right up to every single person who is entering the killing place. You have to be willing to assertively and some would say confrontationally, walk up to complete strangers to their cars, motion to them to roll down the window if the window's up. You can hold up your ministry material and you can say, hi, I've got something for you, roll your window down. But you really have to be assertive. You can't wait for people to come over to you. This is a place where people are being dragged to slaughter. And it's really important that you make a decision that you're not ashamed of the gospel. You're not ashamed of Jesus Christ. And you're not ashamed of the message that you're bringing to these lost people and to their babies. So you have to walk right up to the vehicle. Don't stand back with a sign or your materials waiting for someone to come to you. No. You have to walk right up to people and you have to keep your eyes open. There may be someone parking a little distance away and they're walking up the street. You have to be keep your eyes open and be watching for where they're coming from. And every car that approaches, you need to walk right up to the side of that vehicle, of course, if you're able. But as they pull into the parking lot, you have to walk right up beside the car and try to get them to roll their window down and take your material. And you have to ask them to stop. You say, stop here for a minute. I've got something for you. So you really have to be willing to do that. Now, I understand when you first start, you just may not have the courage to do it. And God bless you. It isn't easy. We're not used to walking up to strangers and introducing ourselves. But you have a message that's a matter of life and death. That baby's life is at stake. It's as if the building is on fire. And you see people walking into it. You wouldn't casually stand on the corner waiting for someone to ask you what you're standing there for. You'd rush up to them. You want to make sure they didn't go in the burning building and you want to save any person that they were trying to drag in there. Wouldn't you? Okay. Then you have to make a determination to be very proactive and very intentional and you have to walk right up to strangers. One at a time. If there's more than one of you, please don't surround people. We don't want to intimidate them. We're there to be a missionary, to bring them the love and the truth and the mercy of Jesus Christ. We're offering to help them. We don't want to be intimidating, so you don't surround people. There's nothing wrong with having a person on the driver's side and a person on the passenger side, though, offering material. Because one of you may get a window down. Maybe both of you, the windows will be rolled down. You each speak with a different person. But please do that. That's really important. The second point I wanted to bring up is I want to let you know how important it is not to talk over each other. 
if you are blessed to have at least one person who's with you in the field of souls, it's going to be very tempting sometimes to speak to a person even if somebody else is already speaking to them. Please don't do that. The person you're talking to needs to have one person at a time engaging them. And as soon as that one person begins to speak to the abortion-bound mother or father or one of their companions, please be quiet. Pray. Unless that person who's speaking motions to you or gives you some signal that they need some help in addressing and speaking and engaging the person, please don't interfere. Let one person at a time bring them the truth. So again, they don't feel ganged up on. It's not confusing and chaotic. So I hope these two uh, pieces of advice will be helpful to you as you go to share the gospel of life and eternity. God bless you as you go.